So yeah, um, let's build this today. The main things we need are an ESP8266, an Arduino, and an addressable LED strip. Mine in particular is NeoPixels. And then a bunch of random stuff you can find in your Arduino kit. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put our ESP8266 into a programming board. And then we're going to attach the ground pin with the chip power down pin. And we're going to put it in our USB hub. If you have never programmed 8266 before, there's a link in the description to learn how to do that. Next, go ahead and download the clock Wi-Fi code from the GitHub repository down below and put that into an Arduino IDE. Here, we're going to enter in our Wi-Fi name and our Wi-Fi password. This is for our ESP8266 to connect to our internet when it turns on. So now go ahead and select your ESP8266 board, select your port for your programmer, and press upload. You'll see a countdown and uploads, and once it gets to 100%, we're done. Once it's all working, you should be able to open up your serial monitor and see the current times, as well as sometimes it'll say SCON, but that just means it failed to fetch the payload, but our code on the Arduino will just ignore that. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and attach our Arduino. Go down in the link description and look for the clock display code. It should have clockcontroller.eno and digit.h. Put that into your Arduino RDE, then upload that into Arduino by itself without making any modifications. Next, I just made a housing for the clock. Could be any kind of box. This is my design particularly, but you could design your own particular box if you want. Go ahead and print out the template that came with the clock display code. We're gonna glue that right on the back of the box. Then it's time to actually put the NeoPixels on top of the template. Be sure to follow the arrows on the NeoPixels, otherwise it won't work. So just make sure they are in series. Then just solder them all in, all in series. Again, following the arrow. Once that's done, we can put it back in the box. I 3D printed these. These will basically make sure that the lights look like the classic segment clock that you have on the digital clocks. From here, we should just test one last time to see if our clock is still working perfectly. Make sure all the wires are still connected before we do anything permanent. Okay, now we're gonna actually seal up our box with the glue here. Make sure all the wires are working correctly here because from here on out, this is going to be a permanent change. So that's just an acrylic panel that I bought from Home Depot. You can get them pretty cheap. So we'll just cut them to size and put it on top of that. Then we're going to take this wood texture wallpaper and we're going to cover the whole box with this. Now finally, let's go ahead and put in our Arduino in the back and power this thing up. Circuit diagram is in the image right here, and so just follow that. In my own particular design, I added a voltage regulator because for some reason when I use the Arduino 5 volts, it kind of messes with the signal for the NeoPixel, so I opted to have that as an external source. Uh, that way this, the signal is more stable. But I think ideally the 5 volt source and the 3.3 volt source from the Arduino should be fine. Anybody else who knows more about that, hopefully you can explain that. As for me, the only way to make it work is to have an external source. Alright, let's see it work. 